amid worsening economic hardship and hunger in the country. A social cleric, a social critic and human rights activist, Aisha Yusufu, says she knew politicians would deploy clerics to confuse Nigerians. Yusufu was reacting to a statement credited to an Abuja cleric and senior pastor of the Shepherd House Assembly International, Reverend Joshua Talena, that the current global unrest signals the approaching end times. <laughs> the cleric during a service, Sunday service in Abuja emphasized that the scriptures foretold of widespread unrest, wickedness, hunger, and other evils in the final days. Talena also pointed to insecurity in certain regions of the country as evidence of the end times, urging congregants to not to lose hope. However, Yusufu said she knew a time would come when they, they were referring to political leaders we deploy the cl clerics. She said, I knew they will soon deploy the clerics. Didn't the prophets tell us that signs of last days will include everyone being so rich that who to give a zaka to we become? Okay, whosoever that gets the zaka will become a challenge to find. Okay, I say it's good thing. What is it called there? Good thing. Uh, Quran day. So, of course, this is not the first time. Uh, when Sultan, it was what Sultan that first came out and talked, he was blaming Nigerians that the Nigerians were the reason why they, they are going through hardship. Not quite long. Adibuye came and said, Oh, politicians should not be blamed, that we need prayers. So, uh, this is not the first time. Uh, maybe they still want to continue because 48 hours or less than 48 hours when Sultan of Sokoto blamed. Nigerians for the hardship that they are going through. He came out and said, Oh, the government must do this. Oh, that uh, the Nigeria is sitting on the keg of gunpowder and all of those is even the U-turn. And again, Adeboye himself, a lot of people came for him. Maybe they feel that uh, the youth thing is not really this message you not know, get down well with the uh citizens. They are still employing or deploying other people. Maybe that's why, because this is not the first time. Because they don't, they, Nigeria did not even accept or did not even take that message from Sultan of Sokoto and Pastor Adebuye. So this one of them is saying that it is a, it's a sign of end time. Must end time start from Nigeria? <laughs> oh my goodness. Must end, end time start from Nigeria? That's a good question anyway. Your Islamic lie to you about having excess money in the end time better go and read the bible really so the bible told you that a uh, what so it's as a result just nobody is not asking so end time has to start from nigeria well we are indeed in the end time but nigeria bad economy is not as a result of end time but bad leadership since 1999 so it is the end time that is not making them to misbehave not to do the right thing for the people but the end time will not affect the politicians to Keep enjoying. Is that what this was telling us? Hmm. Wonder the scene that shall never end. God bless you, man. In fact, our clerics and politicians are like half and half dozen. To uh, they cannot say the truth to power. Rather, they will choose to be giving people false hope instead of them to inform their members that government is the only physical solution to anything they can have. But they will be. On puppet painting ways, Aisha, I have always had respect for you, but when it comes to the blindly, blindly trying to downplay the word of God to promote the lies of your evil prophets and unholy book, then you have miss missed it. The word of God is ever true. The Bible clearly said, In the last days, evil shall increase, earthquakes, floods, hunger, famine, wars, rumors of wars, and killing shall become. Was and that is what is happening now. Your prophet has no idea of what the end time is all about, so stay clear of the only true and authentic book, which is the Bible. Which one concern you? She quotes her own, you quote your own, so which one she should stay clear? Everybody is entitled to use her opinion. If that is how God operates, the God that you are serving, if that is how you operate, you think everybody eh, there will be anybody left in this con in, in this world? No, that is what she believes. That is what you believe. So I see no reason why you should tell her to stay clear. What we are saying, she is not a she's not a 
countering any other person but she was she was even referring to her own cleric that said the uh, one thing one thing she's not referring that uh, oh or trying to counter the the other uh, christian cleric so there are two different things <laughs> Oh God, when you die, it is automatically means your end has come. Period. The same way that was that was done during last election. Aisha, you goofed on this one. Honestly, you just restrict yourself to activism and policies. So if you are not saying that uh, nobody should say anything, that is end time. Is that what you are saying? I think Aisha is going on the end line, challenging the word of God, Amen of God. Well, it's like uh, people are just a. Uh, trying to you are trying to be more mischievous so you don't even understand this whole thing at all this man preached the same message other men of god have been preaching long ago you now attach it to politics so he was bribed to preach better face the politicians and leave the cleric alone not all are called but businessmen in garments of shame nemesis will soon catch up with them who wrote the bible men but not all scriptures in the Bible is of the Lord. Some were smuggled in and some taken out. I think uh, from the way I understand what uh, Aisha is saying, that they are going to send these people. <laughs> and she tried to she tried to uh, understand what she's saying. See, religion is a different thing. If we are talking about religion, that we shouldn't even be voting and uh, or spirituality. But people, ah, that is the reason why these politicians, they do. Now, some people are now yielding to all these uh, antics of uh, this thing. So, now that uh, these politicians or the clerics have said it, so you now believe that it's as a result of end time. That is why I'm, we are suffering. Somebody said, is it a, must say, the end time stuff for Nigeria? <laughs> Reverend Talana should not confuse the end time of prophecy of Jesus with the ineptitudes and the incompetence of the Nigerian government. Is Republic of Benin not a country in West Africa? Why are there not insecurity in that country? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is only in the Nigeria that uh, the world wants to end. <laughs> world without end. When you die, you are end your end time in order to, in other words, your time has ended. Okay. Mm. So guys, uh, what do you think? Let us know what your opinions are.